Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of the second week of october month the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end and i'll suggest you to go through your notes once before watching this video you have been making daily notes and just go through them revise them and then we will proceed with the current affairs of the second week of october highly important session and to all those students who are watching our video first time i'll suggest you to just make notes from this particular video itself all right because making notes is a very good habit i have been saying this for a long time because it will fetch you a very good return you can say on your habit formation because before exam when you will be having exam and you will be thinking or revising the current affairs instead of going through the videos instead of going searching for the content you will be just having all the notes that you made in your own language and that will be very beneficial for you so let's start with the current affairs very interesting session the first question that is being asked here is that the department of food and public distribution has extended the ethanol subsidy scheme under ethanol blended with petrol program to dash from 30th september 2022 so it has been extended till what date tell me what is the date being extended to it has been extended to 31st of march 2020 next question which country recently launched the new energy storage task force with india to support the clean energy it was united states of america similarly if we are talking about clean energy and if we are talking about about india remember international solar alliance international solar alliance was launched in the 2015 it was a joint initiative or it is a joint initiative between india and france and the headquarter of international solar alliance is in gurugram haryana all right in the haryana state of india then remember united states of america is also a part of international solar alliance then coming back remember india's strategic clean energy partnership that is scep and in us and india has recently launched a new energy storage task force to support large scale integration of renewable energy needed to support the clean energy transition all right highly important so remember which country recently launched this new energy storage task force with along with india it was united states of america next united nations international civil aviation organization has adopted a new carbon emission goal to achieve net zero from planes by 
डैश ईयर सो रिमेंबर यूनाइटेड नेशन इंटरनेशनल सिविल एविएशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज अडोप्टेड न्यू एम्बिशन गोल्स टू अचीव न्यू गोल्स टू अचीव द नेट जीरो कार्बन फ्रॉम प्लेन्स बाय वॉट ईयर बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी सिमिलरली इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंदिरा गांधी इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट इट इज ऑल्सो द एयरपोर्ट दैट इज प्लान टू बिकम कार्बन न्यूट्रल बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी थर्टी इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया इंडिया प्लान्स टू बिकम कार्बन न्यूट्रल बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी दिस इज द टारगेट ईयर क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट सो मार्केट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज दैट टू बिकम कार्बन न्यूट्रल फ्रॉम और नेट जीरो कार्बन फ्रॉम प्लेन्स बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी Fifty and which is the organization that has adopted these new targets? It was United Nations Department, that is International Civil Aviation Organization. Next, Central Power Research Institute (CPRI) has signed a memorandum of understanding with Chhattisgarh government to set up regional testing labs. Scotland Museum has signed an agreement with Indian government to return seven ancient artifacts to India. Mark this. then assam chief minister have launched vidyarath school on wheels project question can be asked vidyarath school on wheels project was launched by which states or by which state chief minister so assam state and assam chief chief minister launched this project then india's first indigenous monkey pox test kit was recently launched next global hunger index for 2022 was released in this data the rank of india was 107 out of 121 nation mark this data next in class what does the first s stands for this s stands for but what is class remember chandrayaan 2 mapped the abundance of sodium on the surface of moon for the first time using class i repeat class was used to mark or to map the presence of sodium on moon and this was done by the chandrayaan 2 mission now what is this class class here full form of this class stands for chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 2 large area soft x ray spectrometer i repeat chandrayaan 2 large area soft x ray spectrometer so the second s here or the first s here that stands for is soft so the correct option here is option 3 soft highly important friends remember question can also be asked that class it is a so, uh, chandrayaan 2 large area soft xr that is your x ray spectrometer this is the equipment that was used to map the sodium presence of sodium on moon by the chandrayaan 2 mission and whose chandrayaan mission to this is of which space organization it was of isro next what is the theme of the world migratory bird day that is observed on 2022 that was observed across the globe by united nations on 8th of october so first of all remember united nations observed what world migratory bird day when did it observe it it was on 8th of october now the question asked here is what is the theme of this particular day the theme was light pollution light pollution was the theme for the World Migratory Bird Day observed on eighth of October. Next, a uh, one more thing here itself. Remember, it was not just eighth of October that we observed this particular World Migratory Bird Day. In a year, this day is observed twice, and it was on fourteenth of May also that we observed this World Migratory Bird Day. All right, and here. okay we understood that it was in 2022 this was this day but you need to understand that this day is particularly observed on second saturday it is observed on second saturday of may and october and in 2022 it was 8th of october and 14th of may next in october 2022 the chandigarh air international airport was renamed after dash freedom fighter and for this approval from both haryana and punjab government was taken so remember chandigarh international airport was renamed after bhagat singh a freedom fighter highly important option 2 is correct here next question from which or uh, for which organization the ministry of defense approved the creation of a new branch called the weapon system branch in october 2022 so we have discussed this question also in our daily video it was indian air force for which this new branch called weapon system branch was opened or was established by the ministry of 
डिफेंस हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स और लाइट एंड दिस वॉज डन ऑन द नाइनटी एथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द इंडियन एयरफोर्स एंड वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व दिस इंडियन एयरफोर्स डे इट इज ऑन एट्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर दैट वी ऑब्जर्व दिस इंडियन एयरफोर्स डे एंड इट वॉज द नाइनटी एथ एडिशन ऑफ दिस डे दैट वॉज ऑब्जर्व एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस डे ओनली अ वेपन सिस्टम ब्रांच वॉज क्रिएटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस फॉर इंडियन एयरफोर्स नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्ट्री फसाई एंड एन एफ एस यू हैज रिसेंटली साइन द मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर टेस्टिंग द फैसिलिटी फॉर डाइटरी सप्लीमेंट्स ऑल राइट एंड वी नो विच इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट कीप्स अ चेक ऑन ऑल दिस सब्सटांस दैट आर कंज्यूम बाय एथलीट्स इट इज योर वाडा वर्ल्ड एंटी डोपिंग एजेंसी एंड इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नेशनल लेवल इट इज नेशनल एंटी डोपिंग एजेंसी सुनील शेट्टी वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ नाडा नेक्स्ट नेम द बैंक दैट रिसेंटली एंटर्ड इन टू द वर्ल्ड बुक ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स फॉर स्टेजिंग एंड स्विंगिंग हंड्रेड एंड वन ऊंजल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिमेंबर दिज ऊंजल्स दिस इज रिलेटेड टू वॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू नो द नेम ओके देन विल गो टू ऊंजल्स ऊंजल्स मीन्स हेयर स्विंग्स सो द फर्स्ट बैंक दैट मेड अ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड बाय एंटरिंग इन टू द वर्ल्ड बुक ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स फॉर स्टेजिंग एंड स्विंगिंग हंड्रेड एंड वन स्विंग्स ऑन द फेस्टिवल और राइट एंड इट वॉज योर वॉट Oh, sorry, not the festival during a event. And where was this event? This was in Kochi, Kerala. It was done by a bank. The name of the bank is being asked here. It is your South Indian Bank. Next, next is which country recently launched GLONASS, K, a navigation satellite used by the Soyuz two point one B. rocket so first of all tell me so use 2.1b rocket this is of which country it is used by russia now it is asking which country recently launched this glosnas k navigation satellite using this as we know this is of russia so if we don't know the answer also of glonas k then we should have understood it by the so use 2.1b rocket that it is being used by russia so definitely this glonas k navigation satellite will be of russia now we have learned a new thing that glonas k navigation satellite is of which country it is of russia all right highly important and you need to remember this and remember this is the third generation russian global navigation satellite third generation russian navigation satellite highly important what is the name of the space agency of russia ros cos mos and they have planned to withdraw their uh, partnership in the international space station by the year 2024 next UK United Kingdom became the first country to approve Omicron vaccination 65th Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference to be held in Canada and remember Liz Truss who was the prime minister of UK has recently resigned all right and she became the shortest serving prime minister of UK all right it is the news of today only that she has resigned then Greece has exited European Union's enhanced surveillance framework Uttar Pradesh government to build India's first education township highly important market all right first education township will be in up then former chief minister of dash mulyalam singh yadav has recently passed away mulyalam singh yadav recently passed away he was the former chief minister of uttar pradesh all right remember he has been the chief minister of uttar pradesh from 1989 to 1991 then 1993 to 1995 and then 2003 to 2007 highly important he was often referred to as netaji and he recently passed away so correct option is up next what is the theme of the world mental health day that was observed across the globe on 10th of october 2022 so the direct question theme was make mental health for all a global priority next one more thing here remember this world mental health day was observed for the first time in 1992 next what is the theme of the united nations world post day 2022 observed across the globe on 9th of october so world post day that is observed on 9th of october theme being post for planet next who was recently appointed as the chairman and managing director of railtel corporation of india so the chairman and managing director of Railtel Corporation of India is Sanjay Kumar. Sanjay Kumar. All right. Remember, Sanjay Kumar became the new chairman and managing director of Railtel Corporation of India. Next, 
World Students Day. When do we observe it? It is observed on 15th of October. World Students Day. It is observed in the memory of Dr. APJ Abdul Karam. Important mark this. Moving on. Numalgad Refinery Limited. Numalgad Refinery Limited that is located in which state? Tell me. Remember recently Numalgad Refinery Limited NRL is expected to complete the construction of the India Bangladesh Friendship Pipeline by the end of the year 2022 and this refinery is located in the state of Assam. Where is it located? In Assam. In Assam only Ambubachi festival is observed. Alright Ambubachi festival. Then in Gujarat we will observe the 36th national games and remember here only the cycling event will take place in New Delhi. Then in Madhya Pradesh, Kuno National Park, where eight cheetahs brought from Namibia will be kept. Next, Odisha cabinet approved 2808.39 crore rupees for millets mission and the year 2023 has been declared as the year of millets. Kolkata will host the India International Seafood Show for the year 2023. WPI inflation, Easy is to 3.13.93% in July 2022. Then Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India invited innovative solutions for in insurance sector. Indian Railways launched Operation Yatri Suraksha. Similarly, remember Operation Ganga was launched to bring back the Ukrainian or bring back the Indians from the Ukraine because there was a war going on there. And the aircraft that was used there was of Air India. Next, Defense Forces, RBI and PM Office, most trusted institutions as per the survey of IP Source India. Then BRO, that is your border road organization, will build the first steel slag rod in Arunachal Pradesh. Highly important, but the first steel slag rod on pilot basis was developed in Surat, that is in Gujarat. And remember, Gujarat is also becoming the manufacturing hub for uh, semiconductors, chips, and for that, two organizations signed together an MOU that was Foxconn and Vedanta. Even the uh, manufacturing of artificial diamonds has been shifted from Mumbai to Gujarat. Next, DH aggregator that was designed and manufactured by which startup? First of all, remember this DH aggregator. This was the India's first petrol operated drone that was named as DH aggregator that received the type certification that received the type certification from DGCA and what is DGCA that is your director general of civil aviation I repeat a type certificate was received to DH aggregator that was a drone and uh, that was a drone that was designed and manufactured by Daksh Unmanned Systems Private Limited. So two to three things you need to remember name of the drone that was DH aggregator. It was designed and developed by Daksh Unmanned Systems Private Limited. It received type certification and it was given to them this type certification by DGCA. Highly important. All right. And remember this Daksh Unmanned Systems Private Limited. It is a Th Tamil Nadu based startup the cost for these dh aggregators will be from 13 to 15 lakh rupees per drone next the indian cricketer mahindra singh dhoni has launched an indigenous quad copter consumer camera drone called drony in the global drone expo at dash first of all remember where was this global drone expo held this was held in chennai tamil nadu Second thing, remember, it was MS Dhoni, who is a very famous cricketer. And he is the person who has launched this indigenous quadcopter consumer drone called Droney. Then next thing you need to remember, this Droney or Mahindra Singh Dhoni has been associated with which company or, or you can say which company has adopted or appointed Mahindra Singh Dhoni as their brand ambassador for this drone Droney. The name of the company is Garuda Aerospace. Garuda Aerospace. So question can be asked, this drone is related to which company? It is related to drone. This is related to drone. So the correct option here is Chennai, Tamil Nadu, where this global drone expo was held. Then next thing, if we talk about Chennai, here only 44th edition of the Fight Chess Olympiad was held. And we know who is the deputy president of Fight now, Vishwanath Anand. If we talk about Chennai only, here first ambulance for street animals was also 
launched. Next, which of the following individual organizations were awarded with Nobel Peace Prize 2022 by the Norwegian Global Committee? So who was awarded with this Nobel Peace Prize? So remember, Memorial Russian Human Rights Organization and Center for Civil Liberties, Ukrainian Human Rights Organization. They both were awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize for the year 2020. Next, Global Hand Washing Day. On 15th of October, we observe Global Hand Washing Day. Important, take a note of it. Next news, remember, NSIL. NSIL, that is New Space India Limited, that is a department of ISRO only. And they are planning to launch 36 satellites into space of to launch OneWeb LEO broadband communication satellites into space. Alright, it will be launching OneWebs. 36 satellite into space and the organization that will be launching this is NSIL that is New Space India Limited that is a branch of ISRO only. Next, what is the theme of the International Day of the Girl Child 2022 that is observed across the globe by United Nations on 11th of October 2022. So the theme direct you have to remember our time is now our rights our future. This is the theme for the 11th of October, October that is observed as uh, International Day of the Girl Child. Next, ONGC has signed an agreement with ExxonMobil for deep water exploration in India. India's first electric double-decker bus will be launching in Mumbai. And remember, this bus will be electric bus. Then Delhi's Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal launched Make India Number One Mission. Kerala launched Lucky Bill app to curb the GST invasion. And the first museum for or national museum for Customs and GST is located at Goa. Then Amit Shah inaugurated National Security Strategies Conference in New Delhi. Center has launched Palan 1000 campaign and a parenting application to focus the child on the health. Arunachal Pradesh has launched drone based health services. Important. And if we are talking about drone, first drone mela, where was this held? First drone mela was held in Gwalior. Biggest drone mela. Where was this held? This was held in New Delhi. Then the first state to adopt the drone policy. It was Himachal Pradesh. And the first state to use drone in their healthcare sector was Uttarakhand. Next, which state recently inaugurated first of its kind liquefied compressed natural gas and Rani Path? I repeat. Name the state that recently inaugurated first of its kind liquefied compressed natural gas in Ranipet. It was Tamil Nadu. Next, next is in which state or union territory Asola Bhatti Wildlife Sanctuary is located? This Asola Bhatti Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Delhi. Who is the Chief Minister of Delhi? Arvind Kejriwal. And who is the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi? Vinay Kumar Saxena. Next. Who recently launched Toyota's first of its kind pilot project on flex fuel strong hybrid electric vehicle? This can work either on A type of fuel or B type of fuel or it can also work on mixture of on both these fuels. So remember it was Nitin Gadkari who launched Toyota's first of its kind pilot project on flex fuel strong hybrid electric vehicle that is your FFV SHEV important. Next news, International Day of Rule of Women is observed on 15th of October 2022. Mark this. Next, which company recently signed an MOU with Indian Railways Finance Corporation Limited to boost the corporation in financing railways infrastructure? Which was the organization? It was your Indian Infrastructure Finance Company Limited that has signed an MOU with Indian Railways Finance Corporation Limited to boost the cooperation in the financing railway infrastructure projects. If we talk about managing director of this company, remember Padmabham Raja Jaishankar is the current chairman managing director. If we talk about the headquarter, it is located in New Delhi and this company was established in 2006. Chandigarh Airport, as we saw, will be named after Bhagat Singh. Union government was awarded with GI has awarded GI tag to Mithilia Makhna and it is of Bihar. Then Kassler has partnered with Yes Bank for digital escrow services. GMR Group has launched Blockchain Center of Excellence for Airport and first center of excellence for Khadi. Where was this launched? It was launched in New Delhi. Union Minister Amit Shah has chaired the 23rd meeting of Central Zonal Council in 
Bhopal. S. J. Shankar has unveiled the statue of Mahatma Gandhi in Paraguay and Lord Buddha, a statue of Lord Buddha in sitting posture, has been unveiled in Bodh Gaya, that is in Bihar. Next, as per the 44th edition of the Commitment to Reducing Inequality Index of 2022, India secured what rank in the CRI? So what was the rank of India in CRI? India was ranked 123rd and the country that has stopped here was Norway. Norway secured the first position in the fourth edition of the Commitment to Reducing Inequality Index. Highly important friends, take a note of it. All right, this index is develop or you can say the CRI is collaboration between the Development Finance International and Oxfam International. These two organizations together launched this CRI index. So the rank of India was 23rd, 123rd and the country that topped here was Norway. So option two is correct here. Next, which of the following Indian companies was recently added to the World Economic Forum's Global Lighthouse Network? And what is a Global Lighthouse Network? It is a collection of companies, of manufacturing companies that look after all the manufacturing and financing of it. So remember, which is the company of or Indian companies that were recently added to the World Economic Forum's Global Lighthouse Network? The companies are Mondel's Facility in Shri City, Dr. Reddy's Laboratory and Sipla's Indoor Facility. All these three companies were added to the list. All right. And I mention again, Global Lighthouse Network is a community of over 100 manufacturing companies that show leadership in applying the fourth industrial revolution technology that is working towards the upcoming technologies also. Name the company that recently partnered with NPCI International Payments Limited to facilitate unified payment interface across Europe. Now we will be able to use UPI in Europe also. So to provide this facility, NPCI National Payment Corporation of India has tied up with World Line. So these two organizations came together to use UPI in Europe. Highly important, take a note of it. So correct option here is option fifth. Next, Roger Binney. We know Dada, that is Saurav Ganguly was the president of BCCI, but now Roger Binney has replaced Saurav Ganguly to become the new president of BCCI. Highly important, take a note of it. Next news, International Monetary Fund has lowered the India's GDP growth projection to dash that was earlier projected to be 7.4%. So remember, 6.8% projection has been percent projection has been made by International Monetary Fund for the India's GDP growth rate that was earlier projected to be 7.4%. Next news, which company recently joined as the newest participants of the United Nations Global Compact? So UNGC. Which company recently has joined the UNGC? It is your GSW Steel Limited. That is your highly important question. All right. I need you all to remember. And this is the, as I said, fifth Indian company that has joined the UNGC initiative in the industrial mining and manufacturing category. If we talk about GSW Steel, where is the headquarter? Mumbai, Maharashtra. When was it founded? 1982. And who is the chairman? Sajjan Jindalji. Next, FIFA has suspended All India Football Federation, but now this suspension has been taken over and it has suspension has been cancelled. All right, AIFF. Now tell me if I ask you, uh, under 17, Women's World Cup will be held where? It will be held in India. Next, Kevin O'Brien has announced retirement from international cricket. Paralympian Rahul Jhakar has won the gold medal in the WSPS Shooting World Cup for 2022. Manisha Kalyan became the first Indian to play in the UEFA League. Important mark this. And if I ask you who was appointed as the AIFF Sports Women of the Year, she was Manisha Kalyan. And if I ask you AIFF Sports Men of the Year, he was Sunil Chetri. Then FIBA Under-18 Women's Asian Basketball Championship will be held in Bangalore. R. Pragnanda has defeated World Chess Champion Magnus Carlsen in the FTX Crypto Cup. And if we are talking about cryptocurrency, remember cryptocurrency is related to blockchain or it works on which kind of 
technology it works on blockchain so for blockchain only remember polyversity was launched by india and bharat blockchain network was also launched by india next team world recently won the 2022 lever cup title a men's tennis tournament for the first time that was held at what location first of all remember this lever cup this is related to tennis then the question is with team world has won this was held between team world and team europe and remember team world has won this for the first time that was held at where where was this held this was held in london england highly important this was the fifth edition of the lever cup and for the first time that this lever cup was won by team world next union minister for science and technology and earth sciences jitender singh has announced that the geospatial economy in india is expected to cross 63000 crore rupees mark by the year 2025 so the correct option is option 2 next president of india has appointed justice dhananjay y chandrachur as the next chief justice of india and he will be the 50th chief justice of india and his father was the longest serving chief justice of india so coming back justice dhananjay y chandrachur has been appointed as the new chief justice of india that is the 50th chief justice of india next news kamalpreet kaur has associated with which sports in the tokyo olympic games so kamalpreet was associated with discuss throw all right remember kamalpreet kaur was recently banned for using prohibited substance that was stenozolol so stenozolol as i told you these organization which are wada that is at world level and nada that is at national level that take cares for this doping substance that are period or that are consumed by athletes so kamalpreet kaur who is associated with discuss throw has been banned by or recently she has been banned for using substance that is a prohibited substance stenzolol for a period of 3 years she has been banned so you need to remember that also that for how many years she has been banned she has been banned for 3 years next which state government recently notified the kadavur slender loris sanctuary as the first of its kind in india for the endangered slender loris so as for the first you can say first of its kind in india uh, century that was a kadavur slender loris century where is this located kadavur slender loris century it is located in tamil nadu and this is the first of its kind century in india for the endangered slender loris this is a kind of animal only all right so where it is located it is located in tamil nadu and it will be built on the cost of 5 crore rupees by the year 2026 so the correct option here is option 4 next question name the organization that recently signed a cooperation agreement on the mainstreaming sustainability and clarity in the textile sector with the textile community it was united nation environment program where is the headquarter it is in nairobi kenya then if we talk about where is the headquarter of world bank imf they both are in washington dc where is the headquarter of undp united nation they both have their headquarter in new york where is the headquarter of unesco the headquarter is in paris france all right remember this next central government recently accorded infrastructure status to the data centers with more than dash capacity of information technology load remember central government has recently accorded infrastructure status to the data centers that have more than 5 megawatt of capacity of information technology load apart from this remember if we are talking about solar energy the state that is performing the best or the state that is on the top in terms of solar energy is your rajasthan this is the state that has achieved a 10 gigawatts of solar energy then next to rajasthan will be gujarat then next to gujarat will be maharashtra all right so the correct option here is option 5 then if we talk about adani green adani energy is developing first of its kind largest hybrid power project that will consume or that will develop or that will generate wind energy as well as solar energy and in total they both will be generating around 660 megawatts of solar energy 
नेक्स्ट इज बेल एंड डियोर अवार्ड सो रिसेंटली करीम बेन्जिमा एज यू कैन सीम इन द पिक्चर एंड एलेक्सा पुतलास हैज बिन ऑनर्ड विद द बेल एंड डियोर अवार्ड फॉर मैन एंड वीमेंस कैटेगरी एंड फॉर एलेक्सा पुतला इट इज द सेकेंड टाइम दैट शी हैज वन दिस बेल एंड डियोर अवार्ड एंड इट इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट करीम बेन्जिमा हैज वन दिस अवार्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम लाइनल मैसी एंड क्रिस्टियानो रोनाल्डो नेक्स्ट आर बी आई आर बी आई इशूड मोडिफाइड कंसोलिडेटेड गाइडलाइंस फॉर आर बी आई डायरेक्शन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम विच डेट इट विल बी इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज विच बैंक रिसेंटली सिक्स ट्रिलियन रुपीज इन एसेट अंडर मैनेजमेंट अंडर द होम लोन सेगमेंट सो इट वॉज योर स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया दैट हैज रिसेंटली सरपास द सिक्स ट्रिलियन रुपीज मार्क इन द ए यू एम दैट इज योर एसेट अंडर मैनेजमेंट अंडर द होम लोन सेगमेंट इट इज योर स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया नेक्स्ट इज नेशनल सिक्योरिटीज डिपॉजिटरी लिमिटेड एन एस डी एल हैज रिसेंटली साइन और इट हैज रिसेंटली एक्वायर्ड फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट स्टेक इन द डिजिटल कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज योर ओ एन डी सी एंड द फर्स्ट कंपनी और द फर्स्ट एप टू बी लिस्टेड ऑन दिस ओ एन डी सी प्लेटफॉर्म वॉज योर पेटीएम मॉल ऑल राइट सो रिमेंबर बोथ दिस टर्म दैट एन एस डी एल हैज एक्वायर्ड हाउ मच परसेंट स्टेक इन ओ एन डी सी इट वॉज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट स्टेक इन ओ एन डी सी एंड द फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन टू बी लिस्टेड ऑन ओ एन डी सी प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज योर ओपन नेटवर्क फॉर डिजिटल कॉमर्स इज पेटीएम मॉल नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज वर्ल्ड साइड डे और वर्ल्ड आइड डे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब विद द थीम लव योर आईज आई रिपीट थीम लव योर आईज फॉर द वर्ल्ड साइड डे एंड फॉर द वर्ल्ड आइड डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन विच डेट दिस इज योर डे इज आस्ट हेयर इट इज योर थर्टींथ ऑफ अक्टूबर सो ऑन थर्टींथ ऑफ अक्टूबर वी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड साइड डे दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वर्ल्ड आइड डे एंड द थीम इज हेयर इज लव योर eyes highly important friends take a note of it the first ever world side day was observed in the year 1998 remember this also next in the venture capital industry the term unicorn refers to any startup that reaches a valuation of easy question that reaches a valuation of 1 billion dollar all right next recently prime minister has addressed the united nations world geospatial information congress in hyderabad telangana which edition was of it it was the second united nation world geospatial information congress that was held in hyderabad telangana and it was addressed by prime minister narendra modi then remember hyderabad telangana in hyderabad we developed technology hub 2.0 in order to boost the startup ecosystem there next united which organization recently partnered with arya.ag platform and friends of women's world banking india that is your fwdb india to implement project excel in jamnagar and devbhumi dwarka districts of gujarat i repeat two organization you need to remember arya.ag and your friends of women world banking india that is fwwb so these two organization collaborated to excel in jamnagar and devbhumi dwarka districts of gujarat all right so which is it it is being asked here which organization has partner which is the third organization that is being asked here it is your united nation development program so undp arya.ag and fwwb india came together to implement project excel in jamnagar and devbhumi dwarka districts of gujarat so correct option is undp and where is the headquarter of united nation development program it is in new york next name the indian naval ship that was recently participated or that has recently participated in the 7th edition of the is ibsa mar a joint multinational maritime exercise so ibsa mar first of all if we talk about this exercise who all took part in this exercise it was india brazil south africa all right so ib i for india b for brazil and sa for south africa and maritime exercise all right so this is your ib smr this was the 7th edition of this ib smr multinational exercise in which india brazil and south africa took part and their navies took part in this particular exercise and remember this exercise was started in 2008 and the location where this exercise took place was south africa so question asked is which of the naval ship from india took part in this exercise it was ins tarkash that took part in this multinational exercise 
नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड बैंक रिसेंटली एक्सटेंडेड द अनकंडीशनल लोन फॉर सपोर्टिंग आंध्राज लर्निंग ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सॉल्ट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ आंध्राज प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट सो सॉल्ट प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट इट इज इट इज बेसिकली सपोर्टिंग आंध्राज लर्निंग ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट इज अ प्रोजेक्ट दैट विल बी हेल्प टू एनहेंस द एजुकेशन सेक्टर इन आंध्र प्रदेश स्टेट सो रिसेंटली इट वॉज वर्ल्ड बैंक दैट हैज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड एन अमाउंट ऑफ हाउ मच रुपी और हाउ मच डॉलर इट वॉज टू फिफ्टी बिलियन डॉलर दैट वॉज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई वर्ल्ड बैंक फॉर दिस सॉल्ट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश टू फॉर दैट इज रिलेटेड टू एजुकेशन ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट इज मॉन्डेल्स इंडिया श्री सिटी फैक्ट्री त्रिपुति इन त्रिपुरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश वन द फोर्थ एडवांस इंडस्ट्रियल रेवल्यूशन डिजिटल लाइट हाउस अवार्ड बाय विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑल राइट सो इट वॉज योर विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हैज बिन अवॉर्डेड विद इन दिस अवार्ड इट वॉज वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम दैट इज अवॉर्डेड मॉन्डेल्स इंडिया श्री सिटीज फैक्ट्री इन त्रिपुति डिस्ट्रिक्ट विद द फोर्थ एडवांस इंडस्ट्रियल रेवल्यूशन डिजिटल लाइट हाउस अवार्ड बाय द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट अब्दुल लतीफ राशिद वॉज रिसेंटली इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ विच कंट्री सो ही हैज बिन इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इराक इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट वेन वॉज द वर्ल्ड स्टैंडर्ड्स डे ऑब्जर्व अक्रॉस द ग्लोब इट वॉज ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ अक्टूबर दैट वी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड स्टैंडर्ड्स डे हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट द फर्स्ट एवर वर्ल्ड स्टैंडर्ड्स डे वॉज ऑब्जर्व इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी मूविंग एंड हेयर द थीम ऑल्सो यू नीड टू रिमेंबर फ्रेंड्स द थीम वॉज इट वॉज शेयर्ड विजन फॉर अ बेटर World. Next, also, and here one more thing. It it has the same theme to that of a 2021. So, correct option here is on 14th of October we observe World Standards Day. Next, who was recently appointed as the chairperson of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Chemicals and Fertilizers? He is Shashi Tharoor. Highly important. He has been appointed as the chairperson of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Chemical and Fertilizers. Next, name the state that recently launched. Kuti Cop a road safety awareness education project and that was launched by Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu's chief minister MK Stalin they have also launched a breakfast scheme for the pre primary students of government schools all right highly important remember it nearly 5000 students took pledge in the co disa a trade fair complex while the rest of the 4 5 lakh students took it at their school part in this particular road safety or awareness education project that was Kuti cop so the state related here is tamil nadu so that's all for the day friends i hope you have enjoyed our session if you want us to continue with such sessions and if you want us to bring more such informative sessions in future all you have to do is comment below and let us know what are your views on such sessions if you find this session to be informative like the video and share the link of this channel with your friends also subscribe to us if you are new to our channel we want your subscription we want you to know that and tell us that we are qualified enough and we are motivating enough for you to that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue